Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Do this now. Uh, a 15 ohm and a 30 ohm bulb are wired in series with a three volt battery. Series, isn't that just south of Modesto? <laughs> Sorry. So what, what is the total resistance and how much current flow, uh, how much fl uh, current flows, what is the potential drop across the 15 ohm bulb? Okay, go ahead and take a stab at this. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead, over pause here. this and give it a shot. Go. I'm actually going to draw it out too. Like that. Okay, so we got a three volt battery. And this one is 15 ohms. 15 right? ohms. This one is 30 ohms. 30 ohms. Oh. Okay. All right, so what is the total resistance? Well, how do we find the resistance of something? It's a, in series, a series circuit, and adding more elements increases, and it's just one plus the other. So just like this? Yeah. So that's just going to be 15 ohms plus 30 ohms, which gives me? 45. So the equivalent resistance is going to be 45 ohms. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to draw another diagram right below that with, yeah. a 45 ohm, with one 45 ohm resistor. Okay. Three volts. 3 volts and then a 45 ohm resistor. Is that? That's pretty ugly, but okay. It doesn't matter. It's 45. just a squiggly line. Yeah. Okay. And now how much current flows? Put an ammeter over here in that bottom one. Okay, down here right here? Yeah. So like right here? Yeah. It's got to be in the flow. That's right. So what is that ammeter going to read? It says how much current flows. That's a really good example. Okay. So for number two, well, how do we find the current here? like this right yes it is okay so we know our voltage three volts and our resistance total is 45 five ohms nice need a visual boykin i like well, that well and, and see the thing is this is the equivalent resistance but from the batteries what do you get i get a 0. 0.066 so put six, that six, next to your six, ammeter <laughs> well, 0. 0.07 how about that okay 0. 0.07 Ampere. Uh, ampere's. Sorry. Yeah. See now, this is this from the battery's viewpoint. It doesn't know where those wires go. So you've got a 15 ohm and a 30 ohm resistor. That's what you know. But the battery, all it knows is it's got a 45 ohm resistance that it's got to try to shove current through. Mm -hmm. And so that's. So what's the rate that it's getting shoved through? <clears throat> 0.07 coulombs ohms per second. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is the potential drop? across the 15 ohm bulb. Put a voltmeter across that 15 ohm bulb. Okay. What would a voltmeter say? Okay, so we're talking about volts. Uh, v, v equals I times R, right? Yep. Okay, well, we know what our current is through the... Through the um, 0.07 points, amperes. 0.07. And then what's our resistance for that? 15. 15 ohms. Okay, so 0 0.07. 0 0.07 times... 15, and I get 1.05. 1.05. 1.05 volts. What does the voltage drop? So uh, put that up there on the voltmeter. Uh, oh. mm, sorry. <laughs> I was going to put the delta V there, but we don't need that. 1.05 volts right there. 1.05 volts. All right, I'm going to say that that other one then... Cool is going to be Three well let's just say that was one volt if yeah. that were one volt what would this one over here be well it would be two volts i don't know why i put those like those significant negative i know there. i, was, <laughs> I was take, like take those bad boys out I but know. it do, doesn't matter you don't need those there it doesn't matter okay two volts and, and why is that well the total increase provided by the battery is equal to the total decrease in the circuit. But ups equals the downs. That's it. Right? So if we think about this as a positive three, then these two guys are sucking the life out of that. <laughs> and then it gets and then that energy gets restored yep. across this. Convert the this energy battery. into heat and light. That's what the resistor is. Well, if it were a bulb, mm -hmm. it'd be like that. Okay? What was that equation you had the other day? It was like the negative voltage and this the all the equivalent voltage equals is equal to V1. The, yeah, V1 plus V2. And the plus sign is now just... Now, don't take the plus no, side no in front of the V1. I was just, I was just trying... I couldn't yeah, remember what you Because here's had. the deal. V1 and V2 are drops. So yeah. they're going to be negative. And oh, the, really? And that's so the, no, 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 no. You, you had it right. Yeah. So in order... The current... The battery is positive. And in order to make it an equation, you got to put a negative in front of the... the oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. So like that. All right.
right. Boom da boom, da boom boom boom. All right, nailed it. I like, I really like this this drawing right here. Yeah. Kind of By the way, on on your drawing there, the arrow under the VS. Yeah, this one should be up. Oh yeah, yeah, it should. And why is that? It's a small deal. Well, it's kind of a big deal because they got to cancel each other out, right? That's right. That's <laughs> okay. right. Okay, so in a series circuit, there is only one path for current to follow. The current is the same at every point. This is what we talked about yesterday, right? Yeah. A little review. Okay. Uh, the equivalent resistance for a series circuit is um, R1, the first resistor, plus the second resistor, plus however many other resistors. And that's what we did in the do now. Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay, so the potential drop across an element is burr. Veer, right? Veer, yes, okay. So, we, and we did that as well. Okay, right over here. Yeah. Okay. Um, the potential drop, the potential drops across each element add to, the equal, add to equal the potential increase of the source. And that's also, that's called Kirchhoff's loop rule, which we are not going to get into. We, we might, but probably not. But that's this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, oh, there it is too. And that's okay. what, yeah. And um, if you had to break it down into its components, we have that here as well. Yeah. You can get fancy with it. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, parallel circuits, we're switching gears here now. We just finished up talking about series circuits. Parallel circuits have more than one path for current to follow. More path, more current. Let's go play with wires and bulbs and batteries. Okay, so go ahead and take out your, that's weird, lab. And Again. now we're gonna do the step three. Step three. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look. So this is going to be our parallel circuit right here. So we've got our oblong, uh, brown bulb and our oblong bulb, bulb. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clip these together. Yeah. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, oh, this guy is really kind of like that for that one. Okay. And what you can see here now is that when I when I do connect my um, my wires to the battery, there are two ways that current could flow, right? Well, go ahead and hook it up. Let's see what happens. Okay, let, me, let me sit down here. Let me move that closer to you. Mm -hmm. Voila. Oh, and you know what? They both turn on this time. Oh yeah, and the round one is brighter yeah. and the oblong one is dimmer. It sure is. Okay. All right, so... Um, let's do the lab. Let's do the lab here. Okay, so it says make a parallel circuit, record which light is, is brighter. Oh, we just did that. Okay, so which light was brighter? It the was the, the round one. Yeah. Okay, so round, brighter. Round equals brighter. You guys are doing this too, right? Right, there's more. Okay, so next, uh, what is the voltage increase across the batteries? Okay. You're going to have to bite one onto one and one on. Oh, I was just going to do it across, across Well, you got to have the circuit going. So uh, just go ahead and bite it, time. bite that onto this, and bite the other one, if you can find a spot to bite it. Oh, uh, we're going to find a spot. We're going to make it happen. Look like that. Is it, I don't know if it, wait, hold on. Yep, it, lights came oh, on. Oh, it is? Okay. And, I can't, uh, is it touching over there, Boykin? Yes, it okay. is. You got current flowing. That's a uh, 2.8 volts. 2.8 volts. Two. And that was across the batteries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what? So it wants us to find the voltage drop across the, the both the bulbs now. Okay, so take a, yeah. Like, which ones are they? <laughs> I know. So many things. So I'm just going to attach them to my oblong bulb here first. I like that. <clears throat> Come on, little guy. Okay. And clip. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Get ready for it. That's about 2.7 volts. 2.7. That was for the ob oblong. oblong. Oblong, yeah. Oblong. 0.7 volts. Okay. And then <clears throat> for this one right here, I'm just going to take these. I'm gonna attach them here. Now notice I always put the, the black one on this side. It's coming on the black side. Yeah. And I put the red one on the side. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. 
about 2.6 volts. 2.6 volts? Okay, so round ball was 2.6 volts. All right, do that, do that again. Hit, yeah. hit him again. Let me just take a look at this. Uh, yep, 2.6. Okay. It kind of like... Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we've got our uh, voltage drops across the battery and the... Or increase across the battery. And then the drops around the, of the bulbs. Next up is <clears throat> what is the current running through uh, each of the... Uh, these things, so the round bulb, the oblong bulb, and the batteries. All right, so take the voltmeter those. off and just replace one of the wires so, with the ammeter. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the white wire right here. Okay. okay I'm just going to take it out because it has to be in the flow, right? That's right. And I'm just going to put this guy right here in place. You guys see what I'm doing here? So the ammeter is now in between the bulb and then hook bite that back with this one yeah. bada boom bada bang bada pow okay so here we go so this is for the round one yeah. oh i gotta touch this one too and that looks like uh 270 milliamps yeah that's what i was gonna say okay so uh 0.27 amps yep and okay. that was the round one. That was round. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to put that white one back. Get out of there. Okay, so I'm going to put this one back here so it can do its job. <clears throat> and then let me just go ahead and replace this guy. I like that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and snap this one onto there. All right, you ready for this? Bada boom. And that's about, oh, 0 0.09. 0.09. Amperes. So it's about 90 milliamps, 0 0.09 amperes. Amperes, okay, and then for the battery. Okay, take the ammeter out, put the wire back on. Wire back on, buddy. Everything back where it's supposed to go. And then I have bite. to attach them all to this. Yeah, right? bite those two together. And then bite the red onto this. Oh, it's got to be in the flow. That's right. So like this, right? Yeah. See, now it goes through the out of the battery, through both bulbs, through the ammeter, and back to the battery. Okay. And? Okay, that's about... 360 milliamps, 0. 0.36. 0. 0.36. Amperes. Amperes, okay. All right, what else do we have to do? Okay, so it says, what is the power used by the bulb, by both the bulbs? Right here, so that's something we have to calculate, I think. So the boys and girls do that, that's mm -hmm. IV, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Power equals I times V. Okay, and then lastly, what is the total resistance of this entire circuit? Um, current, oops. Uh, current through voltage of batteries. Okay, so why don't we do that? Let's go to the board and yeah. do that. Okay, so oh god, it's racing here. And um, boy, can should I draw out the circuit with all the numbers on there? Uh, would, is that do you think that would be helpful? It's not or a bad idea. Just, yeah. It's not a bad idea. In fact, it's a good idea. Because yesterday I was struggling to go back and forth between the paper and the. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we've got our battery right here. Do we yeah. have two batteries hooked up? It was. Yeah, we had two. Okay, here we are. And then um <clears throat> put one bulb above the other. Oh yeah, like this. All right? And then we just have them going through, right? Like one this. there. Like that. And then is that how you draw it like that? Well, that's one way to draw it. You know, we had the... We clipped them right here, huh? Well, we clipped them down at the battery. Oh, so it goes like... It was like this, you're right. This is how I'm used to drawing it. However, both are correct. That way you did it is also another way to show exactly the same thing. Yeah. So like that, right? Because there is a little bit of potential drop across the wire, so... Okay, so the voltage... Uh, our total uh, battery voltage was what? Three... Two point eight. 
eight, eight volts and the current through the batteries was 0. 0.36 amperes. Where should I write the current at? Uh, you, could, uh, you could put the ammeter next to the battery. Right here? Yeah. Okay, and what was it, point what? 0.36 amperes. 0.36 amperes. Yeah, 0.36 amperes. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now the question is, what is the total resistance of the entire circuit? So the resistance is potential difference over the current. Mm -hmm. Okay, and That's going to be 2.8 divided by 0.36. Two point eight, two point eight divided by point three six, and I get seven point. We'll call it eight. Seven point eight. Seven point eight. Seven point eight ohms. Now that's very interesting because the round bulb by itself was nine point six ohms. The oblong bulb by itself was twenty seven ohms, and that's less than either either of them. Huh. Okay. I'll bet it says something like that in the next slide. Yeah. Um, okay. okay, well, boys, oh, are, we, are we still going to do we have something Well, here, here's the, uh, explain why the bulbs change brightness from step two to step three. Explain why that brightness was the same in steps one and step three. So we'll talk about, we'll do a little, complete the lesson and then, then you should do that. Okay, so the potential across the elements is the same both sides have access to the battery. So let's take a look at our work here. Yeah, and given the equipment that we've got. So yeah, so what were our numbers here? We said across the battery was 2.8. Yeah. Right here. And then we said that across, the voltage across each of the things was 2.6 and 2.7, which for the accuracy of the material that we've had, it's all the same. It's the same, right? Yeah. We're gonna call it the same, okay? So um, both sides have access to the battery, I like that. Yeah opportunity there okay so the current through any branch is determined by the resistance there so which bulb had more resistance the round one or the oblong let's see the round one was 9.6 the oblong so the oblong had had more resistance and our oblong was this one this was our oblong. and the oblong had less current oblong. hold on Hold on, that, we got 0 0.090 amperes when it was by itself. We got 0 0.090 oh. amperes. We got 0 0.27 amperes and point and 0.26 amperes. So those are, uh, uh, huh. huh. Okay, so the current through any branch is determined by the resistance. So we calculated, we calculated that, um, oh no, we measured that. Didn't yeah, we? that was measured, that was but measured. We could also calculate it if we had to. Yeah. Okay, so current is determined by the resistance there. Oh, and then we have our mechanical universe. Make it big. Here we go. In precise analogy, the amount of electric current that Pause flows it. through a resistor. Oh. All right. What we've got here is these are like stairs. The battery increases the potential of uh, energy of the particles of uh, the electrons and then the resistor decreases it converts it into heat and light and so it's kind of like this shows the uh, uh, a potential gravitational potential analogy and then below it there's the two-dimensional <laughs> that's what it looks like of what the diagram looks like i okay. love it depends on the voltage drop across it how wide and how long it is and what it's made of we saw this yesterday. The resistance yeah. of an electric resistor is proportional to its length. Yes. Mm -hmm. Inversely proportional to its area. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And row, row, row and your boat. Proportional <laughs> to its resistivity or its tendency to inhibit the flow of electrons. So longer, more this resistance. This tendency to resist. Longer, more resistance. Fatter less resistance makes sense yeah and they've got the row yeah is something all materials have but to varying degrees adding resistors to a circuit one after another has the same effect as making one resistor longer mm. it increases the resistance these are called resistors in series 
Putting resistors side by side increases the area through which the current can flow. Ah. These are called resistors in parallel, and they have a lower resistance than either one alone. The there same. it is. Mm. Okay, so... And we saw that. The total resistance that we calculated, 7.8 ohms, was less than the this one, less than that one. Mm -hmm. And it's because it basically makes it have a bigger area. Yeah. Right? Okay. It's like uh, trying to get out of the gym after the rally. <laughs> if you open more doors side by side, there's more area for people to get the heck out of that place. Yeah. Okay, so adding resistance in, uh, in parallel effectively increases the area for current to flow. We just said this. Yep. Right? Okay. So more area is less resistance. Correct. The mundo. Okay, because there is more than one path to follow, the total resistance is less than any single resistance. Yeah, you know, let's uh, let's do an equation. On the right of this, draw a battery at the bottom. Okay. Draw uh, the two batteries. Oh, two batteries. Just like we had. And then one resistor, one. Oh, okay. Uh, like right here? Yeah, right there. Okay, and you want, is this just in yeah, the, yeah, this, no, this is just one. Oh, just, just go from oh, there okay. to there. <laughs> I didn't really there call to there. Space, did I? <laughs> and the equivalent resistance for our parallel circuit is, oh, oh, is a 2.7, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 7.8 ohms. Oh, I see, oh, thank you, thank so you. So the okay. resistance, the equivalent resistance is 7.8 ohms. Okay. Sweet. Sweet, okay, we did it, okay. <laughs> I was like, anything else? Um, and again, you know, we're still 2.8 here. 2.8 volts, yeah. And with our current being 0. 0.36, same thing. Yep. Okay, same, same uh, circuit. For a parallel circuit, in order to figure out the equivalent resistance, um, we have to take one over the first the resistor plus one over the second resistor plus one over. It's the an resistor. inverse relationship. Yes. As you add resistance, it decreases the total resistance. Yes. And we'll show you how to do this where it's a button on your calculator. Yeah. Pretty easy, all right. And I say it again, Boykin. As you add resistance, it decreases resistance. It decreases right? the total resistance. Yeah, and, and that's it's like adding more doors to get the heck out of the gym after yeah. the rally. Yeah, when we add more resistors in parallel, specifically, it's like we're increasing the area, increasing the area, decreasing the distance, more doors, faster. Now, if it's a little confusing, it is because you just got used to a series circuit where adding resistance in series increases the resistance. This is a different animal completely. It's opposite opposite really yeah. if you think about it okay yeah the total current through the source is split between the paths and i think we saw that as well on our lab here mm -hmm. uh you've got two points point two seven plus point oh nine oh is point three six oh isn't it point two seven twenty seven plus nine and then what was this point oh nine oh nine yeah, point oh nine seven yeah thir that's gonna be thirty six yeah. which is the current flowing through the battery. So the current through one, and doesn't that make sense? It makes sense, yeah. right? Okay. Um, <clears throat> three resistors. Oh, we have a practice problem, great. Should I read this up and then work over here? What I would say is erase those and let's draw new this one. new parallel okay. circuit. Do you guys have this down? You guys good on this? You think can always rewind. Yeah. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this question. It says three resistors, 60 ohm, 30 ohm, 20 ohm are connected in parallel across a 90 volt battery. So Good just just draw the three resistors one on top of the other, you know, like a ladder. Mm -hmm. So boop, 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 yep. like that. Yeah. Okay. Boom, 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 and then put the battery down below. Two, no one, just Wait, one. Just, yeah, just one, it's, it's okay. And, and that's, then connect them all like we did before. Yeah. And what I would do is here, just connect that middle one to the bottom one. Middle resistor to the bottom resistor. Like this? Oh, no, right here. Yeah, we're just... Like that? Yeah, like that. Okay. And like that, and like that, and like that. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay, so, uh, so 90 volts for the battery. 90 volts. Yeah, this one's ugly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. 60, 30, 20. Okay, so 60 ohms. 30 ohms and 20 ohms. Okay, question, boys and girls. Which one will have more current flowing through it? 
<sighs> okay, which one will have more current thing flowing through it? We know that, uh, what is that equation for, for current? Well, V equals IR, so I is equal to V over R. The voltage is the same, and so less resistance, more current, more resistance, less current. What was your question, Boykin? Which one has less? Which one will have more current flowing oh, through so it? Oh, so the one with the more current is going to have the least resistance then. And I saw, I know some of you were shouting at the screen, and it should be, which one? Uh, it should be this least, one Least, least resistance. Okay, okay yeah. so uh, let's find the equivalent resistance. Let's just do this problem. Okay, so the equivalent resistance up one over in parallel is gonna be one over 60. Yep. Plus, oh, uh, ohms. ohms. Uh, one over 30 ohms plus one over 20 ohms. Okay, now there's a trick to putting this in your calculator. So, so 60. Where's the X and negative one button? Right there, right? No. X negative one? Oh, yeah. X negative one. That, I was oh, gosh. I, one. I pushed it. Got, hold on. There we go. It's a little, a little you see that? It's like a little rusty. Okay. So 30. 60 X negative one plus 30 X negative one plus 20 X. Ooh, that's X squared. X and negative one. Like and that. And then hit equals. And that is not our, what do you, what We're not do you done get? yet. I got point 0.1. So that's one over the answer. Mm -hmm. So now I hit X to the negative one again. So X to the negative one, and I get 10. 10 ohms. So the equivalent resistance is 10 ohms. You know what, let me, uh, so it was point 0.1. When I do it, I get 10. When I do the X to 10 the ohms negative 10 ohms is one. the equivalent resistance. So now draw a battery with one, oh, yeah. uh, one resistor. I like that. That's the equivalent resistance. So the battery doesn't know. Battery's stupid. It doesn't know. There's one resistor <laughs> and it's like 10 ohms. Okay, and 90 volts. Put an ammeter in it. Mm -hmm. And how much current do you think will be flowing? Well, I think we got the equation over here on the left. Right, so our voltage will be 90. Divided by our current was 10. 10. Okay, that's going to be? 9, nine amperes. 9 amperes. So you have 9 amps flowing through the battery. Total. And so uh, if you, now we, we're not going to do it right now, but we could calculate how much current is flowing through each one. And if you added them all up, you get 9 amps. And so, so in order to do that, we would just do... 90 divided by 20. Well, what's going to be the same for each? each? The, the voltage. It's the, the voltage. So, great, it's, great. so that's going to be 90 divided by 20. Well, in fact, why don't we just do it? 90 divided by 20 is going to be 4.5. So this, uh, so, oh yeah, so 90 divided by 20, 4.5. So that's the top one, 90 divided by 30. Okay, 90 divided by 30 is going to be 3. 3. 3. So that's right here, if I put my ammeter right here, right? Yeah. Okay. And 90 divided by 60 is going to be One, point, four, let's, point five, four, five, six, seven, 7.5. 9 divided by 6 is 1.5. 1. 1.5, 1. 5, right, okay. 1.5. So, you guys get the point, right? Yeah, so 4.5 plus 3 is 7.5. 7.5 plus 1.5 is 9. Nine. Okay, so I want to point something out here, Boykin, that you said. You said that the voltage here isn't changing. It's that's the same. right. It's the same. And that's because every resistor, the left side of each one has access to the left side of the battery with nothing in between, mm -hmm. and the right side has access to the right side of the battery with nothing in between. Mm -hmm. And But the current is different throughout. That's because each resistance is the same. Yeah. Okay, that's, this is making sense to me. All right. Okay, so... Is your house wired in series or in parallel? I don't live in series. I live in Merced. <laughs> so Sorry. Our house, our it's house an old is, joke. <laughs> when I first heard Boykin say that, I was dying. Okay, so our houses are, are wired in parallel, right? And, and why is that? What well, if it were wired in series, what would happen? Uh, well, if one thing goes out, if one circuit is broken somehow, then everything goes out. Yeah. Um, do we want to show them that? Can we unscrew the light? I mean, yeah. Yeah. So if you. Let's go ahead and hook them up in series. Yeah.
put them next to each other. Okay. Oh, if I unscrew this one, the other one goes out. So if I screw down. it back in, oh, wait, wait, you, no, wait. no, you don't have to Can hold it. Can you get it? it? Yeah. Okay, so unscrew oh. it, goes out, ah. screw it in. So there's current flowing through this. This is a series circuit. Aren't there Christmas lights like this? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. All right, and then we go. Well, we don't have, oh, no, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, and then we'll do these ones. Okay, you guys see how I did this? Okay. We're making the parallel circuit again. And then you hook them up. Now they both light. So cute. If I unscrew this one, it goes out. That We're one's still, still good. So in your house, if it were wired in series and you turned one switch off, everything in the house would go off. That's silly and ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. So uh, what is the same everywhere in a series? Oh, should, should we do the chart for this? That's a great idea. Okay. We're going to make a... Table. One, two, a four, four columns and three row rows. Yes, I always get columns and rows mixed up. And here's your cheat sheet right there. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we've got a series. This is a Terry Hall pen. Miss Moore, tomorrow you'll have a better pen. Okay, and then we've got. The same. What's the same? What's different? And then low resistance. Yeah. Okay, now see here, what's the same? What changes from element to element? And then what happens as you add more elements? So that's what we're gonna hit all of these. So we'll make the chart with you. Um, and then we'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, what's the same everywhere in a series circuit? Well, there's only one path for current to follow. So current, right? Yeah. Okay, the current is the same, but when we measure the potential difference over each um, thing in a pair, a bulb or whatever, yeah. um, it changes, right? Yeah. So, so our the, potential difference is changing. Yeah. And when you add more resistors in series, you well, get more resistance. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yes, yes. When you add more resistors, you get more resistance. More yeah. resistors, more resistance. Uh-huh. Okay. Parallel um, circuit. What's the same everywhere? Parallel. Uh, well, what we measured the voltage, right? And yep. the voltage was the same everywhere because they all have equal access to that battery. Yep. Okay. And then what was different everywhere? Well, you had different current flowing through uh, different elements. Yeah. Okay. And then for this one... When we add more resistors, what happens to the resistance here? It goes down. It decreases. And that, again, think about, um, you know, as we, that, that mechanical universe video, when yep. you add more resistors, now it's increasing the area, more area, less resistance. It's like opening the doors yep. in the gym. Bada boom. And I strongly recommend, boys and girls, that you make this table in your notes so you can refer back to it when you study. And you just learn to love it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, uh, and hopefully understand it, okay? So, do we need to go over these then, Boykin? We just did. I think we're no. good here. Okay, so, um, homework today, uh, reg regular physics book, um, chapter 23, it's going to be page 540, number 10, and number 11. Just two of them, boom.